Hello and welcome to Business News. The United States of America is willing to collaborate with Nigeria to realize a diversified economy. Well, the message was given today by the U.S. Secretary of Commerce, Penny Pritzker, at a meeting hosted by the founder of Tony Elumelu Entrepreneurship Program. That's Mr. Tony Elumelu. Mr. Elumelu, as well as Ms. Pritzker, who led the U.S. Presidential Advisory Council on doing business in Africa to Nigeria, also engaged some entrepreneurs on the challenges confronting their businesses. Too often, well meaning policymakers make policies to help Africans without actually engaging with us. You've demonstrated, Madam Secretary, that you understand this well, and but it is worth repeating for the benefit of others that, for the other that others that in order to effectively help or support people, we should ask them what kind of help they want. Achieving Thieves' ultimate objective of the economic transformation of Africa requires us to improve both. Uh, entrepreneurs and the business environment in which they operate to ensure that all entrepreneurs with transformative ideas. Africa, entrepreneurs. entrepreneurs, you're the leading edge of Africa's next wave of economic growth. And frankly, I just want to echo what Tony said. You're lucky to get the kind of mentorship. Founder of the Tony Elumelu Foundation, Mr. Tony Elumelu, himself a serial entrepreneur, explains that though being a businessman, the purpose of TEEP is not to make profit. In the 21st century, what will drive development in a sustainable fashion is business. And that is getting private sector people doing business succeeding and helping to create jobs, solve social issues for, for, for mankind. Young people such as Belema Alagun, a lawyer by training, is following her dreams of providing healthy food choices for Nigerians. I just thought life could be so much easier and there has to be a lot of people who go through this regime of just waking up in the morning, want to go to work, want to come back, eat something healthy at work, not necessarily stress themselves in order to eat healthy. And so, you know, I started thinking of the business idea and I just went for it. <laughs> for Nosakare Oyegun, it all began with an idea he was playing around with. I've had a huge interest in content and how advertisers can use content to reach to reach like a target market. So like I've always followed like Vox Media and BuzzFeed and I was fascinated by what they do. It was something I wanted to replicate in Nigeria. Over 15,000 entrepreneurs have so far applied for the 2016 program cycle. And while applications are open till March 1st, Mr. Elumelu says anyone can participate. All you need is a decision and an application. If chosen, you'll be given the skills needed to start up, grow, sustain, and eventually become an employer of labor. Amarachi Kubani, Channel's Television News. Africa's youth get another opportunity to help in building the continent's economy, placing it among the first hand by the year 2025. Now that focus has been improved upon by the Tony Elumelu Entrepreneurial Program, which is paving the way for thousands of youths to set up businesses, to grow economies and provide jobs. At least $17 million will be invested by the Tony Elumelu Entrepreneurship Program into young people with business ideas in Africa to help them start up and eventually provide jobs for the teeming jobless population. And all of you in this room. A meeting between TEEP, the Tony Elumelu Foundation, and members of the U.S. Presidential Advisory Committee on Doing Business in Africa, led by the U.S. Secretary of Commerce, Penny Pritzker, provides a platform for young people to rub minds with policymakers on the challenges of doing business in Africa. Entrepreneurs, you're the leading edge of Africa's next wave of economic growth. And frankly, I just want to echo what Tony said. You're lucky to get the kind of mentorship. Founder of the Tony Elumelu Foundation, initiator of the program, Tony Elumelu, himself a serial entrepreneur, talks about the aim of the program. In the 21st century, what will drive development in a sustainable fashion is business. 
and that is getting private sector people doing business succeeding and helping to create jobs, solve social issues for, for, for mankind. The success stories have begun one of which is Belema Ajagung, a lawyer by profession who is now providing Nigerians with healthy food choices. And I just thought life could be so much easier and there has to be a lot of people who go through this regime of just waking up in the morning, want to go to work, want to come back, eat something healthy at work, not necessarily stress themselves in order to eat healthy. And so, you know, I started thinking of the business idea and I just went for it. <laughs> I've had a huge interest in content and how I've written Advertisers can use content to reach to reach like a target market. So like I've always followed like Vox Media and BuzzFeed and I was fascinated by what they do. It was something I wanted to replicate in Nigeria. She, along with 10,000 other young entrepreneurs, have benefited from the program via skills and capital to follow their dreams. This year, thousands more young people will get the opportunity to do the same. Mr. Tony Lemelu says the only profit he'll gain from this is the impact it makes on Africa's economy, which will one day be led by Africa's youth.